Chitra Benerji Devakarani, the best-selling author of Palace of Illusions, is back with a new novel, Independence. As the title of the book suggests, it is a historical fiction set in pre-independence era. Is the novel worth the hype? Stay tuned to find out. Hello everyone, I am Shalu. Welcome to my channel where I post videos related to books. If you are new here, then do subscribe to my channel for new bookish videos every week. Today I am very excited to review the book Independence by Chitra Banerjee Devakaruni. It's a captivating novel that takes you on a journey of self-discovery and courage. The book is set in Bengal during the turbulent times of partition. Set in a small village called Ranipur, the story revolves around three sisters, each different from the other. The eldest Deepa is luminously beautiful, Priya is ambitious and dreams of becoming a doctor like her father, and Jamini who wins everyone over with her goodness. Because being a cripple, she knows that being good is the only way she can find love and respect. The narrative begins in August 1946 and continues over the next year and a half, moving in between Ranipur and Calcutta, then further to Dhaka and far beyond to America. As Venus breaks out in Calcutta claiming the life of their father, the three sisters try to deal as best as they could with their suddenly changed circumstances. The sisters find love and follow their dreams while daring to step out of the sheltered environment of their small village. All this while the sisters try to balance devotion to their family while carving their own path in the world. When riots break out and there is bloodshed everywhere during the partition, the sisters try to reach out to each other. But dangers run high and there are risks that have to be taken. The novel takes us through the sisters' lives as they struggle with their identities, their relationships and their desires. It is a story of sisterhood, love and sacrifice. I enjoyed reading Independence. It provides us with a deep understanding of the struggles that women face during the times of Indian independence. The themes of family, identity and cultural traditions are woven throughout the novel in a thought-provoking way. Deva Karuni's writing style is captivating and she has a way of bringing the characters to life. The characters are well-developed and complex with their own struggles and motivations. I found myself rooting for the sisters and invested in the story. One of the themes that stood out to me was the idea of freedom. The novel explores the different types of freedom that people seek. Freedom from the societal norms, freedom from relationships and freedom from oneself. The character development is strong and I appreciated how the sisters' perspectives changed as they matured. The only criticism that I have is that the story is a bit predictable and the ending a little unconvincing. However, I enjoyed the overall storyline and the message behind it. Overall, Independence is a compelling and beautifully written novel that explores complex themes with nuance and sensitivity. The storyline is interesting and the characters are relatable. I highly recommend it to those who are interested in reading a historical fiction set during the times of Indian independence. If you are looking for a book that will take you on an emotional journey, then this is the book for you. So this was my review of Independence by Chitra Banerjee Devakaruni. Have you read this book or any other book by Chitra Banerjee Devakaruni? If yes, then do share your thoughts in the comment section. And thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel for more bookish reviews and recommendations. See you in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.